Ron, trading a burgeoning superstar like Tyler Sagan requires a bit of a leap of faith, and the Bruins' faith in last summer's blockbuster deal with Dallas has been rewarded, thanks largely to the play of Riley Smith. Corey Krug in front, Smith shoots, he scores! Hamilton takes the shot, tipped by Smith, he scores! If at first you don't succeed, Riley Smith tried again. He's a fixture on Boston's second line. Four goals in the postseason, two of them game winners. The pressure that goes with being traded for a star first-round draft pick in Tyler Sagan has been answered by Riley Smith. You know, you don't really know what to expect, especially going from, uh, you know, a team that's struggling to make playoffs and not being, a, you know, a person in the roster every night to uh, join a team that just challenged for the Stanley Cup playoffs too the last three years. So, you know, your biggest thing you think of is, you know, hopefully I can make this team just because, uh, you know, the pedigree and history and uh, the talent they have. You know, wouldn't expect, you know, the welcome I got. Seemed a great group of guys and it only got better from day one. You know, just there's so much good leadership and good character guys in the room where they care so much about your development that it's, you know, you wouldn't, you would never believe that that's how it would be. But I think that's the reason why they've had so much success in the last three or four years. Who was the one guy who made you feel most welcome? Uh, funny as not, probably uh, Z, Zdeno Chara. You know, you, you walk in and you see this, uh, you know, monster of a man and uh, one of the nicest, uh, most humble guys you're going to see. And he's kind of always there, you know, giving you little tidbits and always joking around, making sure the atmosphere is light, but, you know, that you're still focused on the goal at hand. The Smiths' Toronto household was bustling with three athletic boys, Riley the youngest. He spent his childhood chasing his brothers Rory, now a pro lacrosse player, and Brendan, a Detroit Red Wings defenseman. It's great being able to have two older brothers that you look up to and uh, both great role models, uh, especially Brendan through my hockey career. He was, he was one of the guys I looked at for you know advice on a daily basis, just how to improve my game and things like that because he seemed to go through everything two years before me. So. It was, uh, it was great just having that as, you know, someone just to bounce ideas off of. And uh, Rory, my oldest brother, is probably one of the toughest people I know. So, you know, whenever I get into a battle or anything, he'd, uh, he'd be the first person to step in for sure. He's like a personal bodyguard all the growing up. Then, as chance would have it, a meeting of the Smith brothers in the opening round of the playoffs. Detroit versus Boston. Roddy Smith, the first Boston Bruin to face his brother in a playoff series. Tony Esposito or Philip Esposito faced Tony in 1975. It was a little tough. Uh, you know, it, it's tough, you know, trying to avoid text messages and stuff because uh, Stanley Cup playoffs has been a dream for both of us and we're both pretty competitive, especially against each other. So uh, I think our, our communication went on a bit of a hiatus because we're usually talking to each other every day. But, you know, it's... It was interesting. I think it was tough on my parents just because they didn't know who to cheer for. I think they were wearing, uh, you know, half Boston Bruins stuff, half Red Wings. So uh, they went to every game and they were cheering their hearts out for sure. But it was a little bit, uh, you know, caught in the middle of the fence. Well, you've played the entire season with Marshawn and Bergeron, uh, which clearly says you've won the confidence of Claude Julien. What do you think that says about your development? It says a lot. Uh, he definitely stuck with me through, you know, some times where things weren't going well. But there's definitely, uh, you know, a lot of growing pains in your first year, and you learn a lot of new things. And uh, that's definitely one part of my game that I've learned, especially playing with Patrice, is, uh, you know, if you're not taking care of your own side, you'll never get the offensive chances that you want at the end of the night. So uh, I guess that's kind of a goal that, you know, you don't see too often, but it, uh, it shows your development in the year for sure.